Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and I help you to become more efficient in your daily work and life. If you're struggling to get your productivity system end to end to a level where you really have peace of mind and you actually free up time and get things done, then I recommend to you go to my website, check out the membership where I show you the iCore framework, where you learn everything end to end, how to implement the tools that suits you the best. And if you're one of my Inner Circle members already, I I welcome you back to the show. Today I have something very exciting. It's actually how I write very fast on my iPhone. It's something that I do on a daily basis already, but then I was sitting next to my wife. She was typing something and you know, pretty slow and things like this. So I thought that there are actually a lot of ways to write much faster. And I will show you five things, five tips that you can apply to your iPhone in order to write lightning fast. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, here we are in drafts now and as you know, I could now just simply start typing. As I have pretty thick thumbs, it's not as easy to actually type or hit the right buttons. Apple actually has an algorithm in there where it recognizes what is the most likely words that you want to write and it figures that out and corrects this if you hit the wrong button. So most of the times it actually got the right button, but you can be actually much faster. So the first issue I'm facing with this iPhone is the size because this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max and this is the biggest version of an iPhone that you can get and therefore my thumb isn't reaching all the buttons all the time. If you have a small iPhone, that's much easier, but I show you now how this also works much easier for you. So you see on the bottom left, the globe button. If you tap this button, you will switch different languages. So you might, you might know this. So I, sometimes I write German, sometimes I write English. And then when I tap this, it will switch the languages easily. But if you press and hold this button, then you can select the different keyboards, for example, also the emoji keyboard. But when I press and hold the button, you see on the bottom as well, two different or three different symbols. This in the middle is selected, which shows we have the full width keyboard selected. When I go to the left button, you see now everything is moved to the left, to the left. See, it's, it's, it's crunched together. As I'm right-handed and my thumb my thumb is going the other way, we will press and hold again and switch to the other side. And now you see that I can easily reach everything with my thumb. And now I can start writing the same thing. Hello, only with one thumb instead of two thumbs that I used before. Hello. So it's already much faster if I need to write with one button and maybe drink a coffee with my other hand. So let's do the next step, which is swiping. Make sure that this, this is activated in the settings. Go to keyboard and there you go. Here you have the, the option slide to type and delete slide to type by word. Okay, so one, once you select this, you have this option as well. And slide to type or swipe on, I you know this maybe from from the Samsung is actually you just sliding around on the keyboard and don't be afraid. Don't make it slow. Maybe that's, that's an issue many have. They try to hit every button the right way. It is really the gesture that you're forming when you try to write a word. So let me do this now with the sentence we had above. Hello, this is Tom Solid. How are you? Then you can double tap space and you get a dot in the end. So you saw this is so much faster. The combination of making the keyboard smaller in addition with the swipe makes me lightning fast when I'm writing on my iPhone. Very convenient. I can still sip my coffee next to it. And now we see, okay, Tom Solid, it took the lower case here. Makes sense because Apple doesn't know that this is a actual name. So we just press and hold the space bar and now we can move around the cursor on our text. So we go for S, delete this one and simply replace it with a uppercase S. That's actually already tip number three, the navigation with your, with the space bar. And yes, you can see the keyboard actually is hidden more or less because I can swipe over the whole keyboard in order to select this. 
The fourth thing um, is something maybe many of you already know. We have the shift button here. So I say hello and the first letter was uppercase. But when I double tap the shift button, it will stay in the shift mode. So here it's important again in the settings that you enabled caps lock in order to have this. What I actually really hate is auto correction. It is messing up so many things, especially when you try to write funny stuff with words Apple might not know. And um, so it's correcting all the time. That's why I switched it off. But this is something you might already know with the, with the caps lock. And the fifth tip actually is more of an expert thing where you have to think ahead what words you're using most. I have to go to the settings again and in the settings menu we got just go to general and tap on keyboard again. And now we are there where we were before and up there you see text replacement. So when you go here you can actually add a variations of words that you use a lot or even combinations or websites for example. For example you see here mem sign so whenever somebody asks me where can i sign up to my to your membership i only have to write in mem sign and it will automatically add the url to the website but also on top you see as soon i write aw it will replace it with awesome be careful if you want to write awful let's test this or cool cool so this works. So what actually happens is when I write or and then I make a space, it replaces it with awesome or mem sign as I showed you and space imports the URL. So you see, you can even do text blocks this way. Okay. If you have a standard phrase that you use in your email or some other things that you use on a regular basis, then this is really the thing to go for. There are obviously a lot of alternatives there. See text expander and I know many of you use this actually, but the rating is not that good. And in my opinion, or actually for my use case, the Apple version of providing me these snippets are more than enough. To my understanding, text expander is also cross device. So you can set up these shortcuts on different devices and you can access these shortcuts from different devices. But as I said, here it's all about using the iPhone for this and that's enough. If you didn't know about any of these tips and you know, or maybe you're already a fast writer on iPhone and you want to share a convenient guide how to optimize your iPhone writing, make sure that you share this video with your friends. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you up next time.